Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tortoise Cashflow. In this video, it's just going to be a quick tutorial on how to fix your caching issue with Ezoic. So it's going to go from looking like this to looking like this. Drifting in my heart, I know a fool. So most of you know I recently bought a website from Carl Broadbent and I went onto my Zoic dashboard the other day and I realized my caching hit percentage was way low which I haven't noticed on any of my other websites. So I went ahead and contacted Ezoic to figure out what the issue was and they replied back to me and gave me exactly what I needed to do to resolve this issue. So they told me that if you're seeing cache misses at Ezoic, it may be because they're respecting the original caching headers. So in order to check this, you can use their app to view your old website and this will force the original version of your website to do the test. So to test it, you need to go to your Chrome DevTools and click on Network. Then you need to click on an entry and look under the Headers section. If you see max age equals zero, then that means Ezoic is respecting the original headers on your website. And if they're not being cached on your website, they're unable to be cached on Ezoic. So in order to resolve this issue, it's actually a super simple fix. So you want to just go over to the speed section on Ezoic. Then you want to scroll down to the Ezoic cloud caching and click on settings. And you'll go ahead and scroll down and click on update cache setting values. Then you'll want to change override cache control headers. And if it's on false, you want to change that to true. Then click update domain setting values and just wait a couple days and you should see your, your cache hit rate percentage go from the red, mine's at 18%, and it should spike up to the green almost immediately. So it'll go from looking like that to looking like that. You'll see, notice my speed hasn't really changed much. Uh, I expect that over time the speed should go up a little bit more as the caching sets in. But I've also noticed that the theme that I'm using, base WP, is on the speed section it's saying that it's slowing down my site so i think it's not really a good theme so i'm going to go ahead and change it to the popcorn theme and see if that increases my speed so maybe i'll talk about that in a future video it's going to take a little bit for me to set it up and get it going hopefully i can get these scores up to at least the 70s or 80s right now they're kind of low so I, I would like to fix it if i can so that's just a quick tutorial on how to fix your cache hit rate percentage. If you're not using Ezoic yet and you're still using AdSense, then I highly suggest that you should definitely check it out. I think you're definitely missing out. On a recent video, I compared AdSense to Ezoic and there's a clear night and day difference where you're losing so much money if you're stuck on AdSense. And Ezoic recently got rid of the limit. They used to have a limit where only sites that got 10,000 sessions per month could join. They got rid of that and now anybody can join on day one. You can sign up for Ezoic and get ads on your website. So it's pretty great. If you're not doing it yet, you definitely should. And I'll leave a link down in the description box below where you can sign up for Ezoic. It will be an affiliate link, so I'll earn a commission at no cost to you. So I appreciate it if you do use that link. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you don't mind just to help out the algorithm. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.